research journey, our group walked along the King's Road seeing sites such as designer stores, the Saatchi Gallery, and Upper High Street brands. We start out our journey by walking to the end of the King's Road and beginning at Anthropology. When it comes to how Anthropology display the products within the store, you can clearly see that the colours, style and occasion have been falls about. The store flows extremely well, with the front of the store having a boutique feel to it, with easily identifiable colours and styles. One side having a more evening vibe to it, with the reds and blacks, and the other half being slightly more casual day wear, and possibly a little younger, with pinks and greens. This is where the store showcases its new arrivals and more on-trend products that are also displayed in the window. As you walk through the store, more collections and styles can't styles come into focus, such as a jean collection which has been done as jeans are an everyday piece, therefore don't need to be located in the front of the store, but if the customer needs them, then they know where they are. Anthropology have a separate room which contains their sale products from last season's stock. This keeps up with the store's upper high street image and does not clutter the store which can sometimes lower a brand image. There are 20% off dresses in the store. Anthropology does not give away too much that it loses its luxury brand, but also gives enough away to bring customers into the store to look at their products and possibly buy. We observed Anthropology for 30 minutes with 40 customers entering and 18 exiting with carrier bags. Majoritively, these were female customers in their early 30s to late 40s. This tells me that Anthropology are a more expensive high street retailer as they are aiming their products at an age group that are more likely to have a large disposable income to spend on discretionary items. <laughs> Anthropology seems to be very good when it comes to stock management, having one or two sizes of the most popular items out and having very clear finger spacing for their customers so they can easily pick up what they want in the store. While walking down the King's Road, we looked and stopped in the store of BCBG and saw that they had the catwalk display of their current season to show customers what the outfits would look like on them and also people they may buy for. Brandy Melville doesn't use digital tools effectively. It doesn't have an online UK store, only a US store, and their social media sites for the US and other EU countries, therefore not attracting or even attempt to target any UK customers. Brandy Melville has a small target market as all of their clothes are relaxed fit and California style, therefore limiting the number of customers. When we observed the customers who went into Brandy Melville, the majority of them were teenagers to early 20s and all dressed to fit the Brandy Melville image. So we got into several stores in Kings Road and we have found a few promotional postcards, leaflets, lookbooks and membership cards. Um, but none of them were actually effective because they are only effective when they directly show the brand image to the new customer. But when a new customer comes into the store, they can actually get the information about this. And they were not displayed very well, so I think it's not they effective get, for the yeah. shoppers yet. 